Hi everyone, today I am going to talk about pyomathoraces. Empyema is defined as a collection of pus in the pleural space or pleural cavity. Pleural cavity is a space between the parietal and visceral pleura. It is a potential space because it contains a thin film of serous fluid. History of pleural infection Imhotep is an Egyptian physician. He described empyema in 3000 BC. But Hippocrates first described the severe nature of thoracic empyema more than 2,400 years ago. What are the causes of empyema? First, you have to know that empyema is not a primary disease. It is a secondary disease. Causes of empyema includes pneumonia. A paranemonic pleural effusion is the most common cause of empyema. The majority resolve was antibiotic therapy. Post-pneumonic empyema forms when bacteria infect the pleural fluid or pleural space. Post-surgical empyema. Empyema may occur after certain surgeries. It represents 20% of cases of empyema and can follow surgery to the mediastinum, esophagus, and lungs, most commonly following pneumonectomy. Also, Empyema may occur after rupture of lung abscess or infected pleural pleb, inhaled from bodies or bronchopleural fistula. Empyema may also result from thoracic trauma, ruptured esophagus, pericarditis, abdominal processes such as cholangitis and diverticulitis, with translocation of bacteria across the diaphragm, mediastinitis, chest wall, or spine osteomyelitis. Iatrogenic causes, such as esophageal perforation during esophagoscopy, repeated thoracosynthesis, post pneumonectomy, post thoracotomy. What is the pathogenesis of empyema? Classically, the development of empyema occurs in three clinical stages. Stage 1 Acute exudative phase typically occurs 2 to 5 days after pneumonia. Accumulation of fluid with low cellular content and viscosity. This phase characterized by low white blood cells, LDH, glucose, and a normal pH. Can be successfully treated with antibiotics only. Stage 2. Fiprinoperulent phase. Typically occurs 5 to 14 days after pneumonia. Turbid or perulent fluid with heavy fibrin deposits. Appearance of simple loculations and septations may have bacterial invasions and high numbers of polymorph nuclear leukocytes and lymphocytes. Characterized by low pH, glucose, and increased LDH, antibiotics and chest tube drainage is required, plus or minus VATS decortication. Stage 3 Chronic Organizing Phase is characterized by lung trapping by a collagen, dense fibrous visceral and parietal pleural bile with ingrowth of fibroplasts and capillaries. This phase will need antibiotics and aggressive decortications, generally by thoracotomy. Bacteriology Many kinds of bacteria can infect pleura or pleural fluid includes Staphylococcus, Haemophilus influenza, Gram-negative bacilli, Streptococcus pneumonia, Streptococcus biogens, and Mycoplasma. Note that if the empyema has been present for more than two weeks, it has a higher risk of conversion from VATS to open for decortication. How to diagnose empyema? Clinical presentation. Patients may complain of fever, productive cough, dyspnea, chest wall pain, malaise, and fatigue. Physical examination may reveal decreased epsilateral chest wall expansion, egophony, dullness to percussion, chest wall tenderness. On investigation, chest x-ray, PA, and lateral, and or the cubitus film to determine loculation. Chest CT provides anatomy and helps planning for chest tube placement of surgery as well as showing thickened pleural bile 
and presence of calcifications in the bile which help determine if thoracotomy rather than fats necessary. Thoracosynthesis, Gram's stain and culture lights criteria distinguishes transudative effusion from exudative. Exudative if specific gravity is more than 1.02 protein content more than 2 gram per deciliter and at least one of the following ratio of pleural fluid protein to serum more than 0.5 ratio of pleural fluid LDH and serum more than 0.6 total pleural fluid LDH more than 2 over 3 upper limit of normal ratio of pleural fluid albumin and blood less than 1. Treatment Stage 1 Sensitivity appropriate antibiotics Stage 2 Chest tube drainage Thrombolytics most likely to be effective during early stage of empyema and should be reserved for patients who are poor surgical candidates. Stage 3 and failure of stage 2 to resolve. If pleural space drainage is ineffective or the effusion has loculated appearance on imaging, a VATS decortication should be performed without delay. If complete lung expansion is not achieved, by VATS, then should convert to open thoracotomy. In processes that have been going more than 14 days or in patients who have chest wall tenderness, need for conversion for open thoracotomy is higher. Open decortication indicated for late stage 2, stage 3, and incomplete lung expansion with VATS. Chest wall window, Elocerf lab may be required if lung cannot expand and empyema chronically reaccumulates or in the case of a bronchopleural fistula that cannot be closed. Thank you.